Okay, in today's video I'm going to show you how to use the Moments app. So the app you want is this one at the bottom of the screen saying Moments, and you're going to tap on that button. When you first enter the app, if you've got any bookings, they're going to be showing in your upcoming here for you, and that will just be the first few classes that you have. It won't show every class you have booked. If you scroll down the screen, it will show any past bookings. This is where you will be able to see if you've had any classes recently attended. Now what you need to do is click on our logo at the top of the screen, and that will take you through into the app itself. Along the top here you can see you've got four options. You have Home, which is going to tell you what classes you've attended and your next event, um, and any upcoming classes you have beneath. The Schedule, which will show you all of the classes that we have on offer. And you just scroll across with the calendar here. Um, you can also filter by clicking on the button, selecting the teacher that you wish to search for if you've got a particular class that you're looking for or if you want to do a zoom class or in the studio then it would be worth selecting studio one or live stream just to filter out any classes that are not relevant for you so you don't accidentally book the wrong one i'm just going to search for the studio one classes and show results now on here i've I'm going to select Friday the 29th just to make sure that I've got a class that I'm not going to confuse. Um, and there's only two classes on that day. As you can see, there's the 9.30 and there's four spots taken and then the 10.45, which is currently unbooked. Now, if you didn't filter, you would have all four variations of that class on here and you would need to select the Studio One as opposed to the live stream. I'm just going to quickly show you what that will look like if you did that by clicking again on the next to the, the date here there's a three little lines you're going to click on here and that's where you go to the filters so I'm going to select 930 now as I have an active subscription I'm going to click on here it will just confirm the details at the top click on here it will confirm the membership that you're using if you have more than one membership you'll have an option to select from a variety there so if you have a, a Pilates plus pack you can select that from there you're going to book now and that will add that um, confirm that you've booked it you have the option to add it to your calendar if you wish click on this I haven't given it permission on my phone but if you add permissions to your phone then you'll be able to add that to your calendar if I return home that's going to take me back to the main screen and I can click I can select my next class if you have a recurring booking and you want to cancel a week or if you want to cancel a class that you've already just booked you're going to go back to the home screen it's going to tell you here which class you've got upcoming you would simply select the class you no longer wish to attend Confirm the cancellation for that class and confirm. Now, providing that you've got booked within the 12 hour or outside of the 12 hour window, you'll get that credit back onto your account. If you have a subscription that gives you access to our on demand, you simply select the on demand and it gives you the, everyone will have access to the free workouts, which are the top here. If you have access to the full library, you've got bar, Pilates, and um, there's also Soul Fusion um, and Power Pilates, which is the equivalent of circuits, um, and Trigger Point, and all the other classes that we offer in the studio, we have on demand recordings of those. So, hopefully, that's helpful for you, and give me um, a message if you have any questions.